The unutilized budget that was allocated for the FGFA was not invested in India's indigenous fifth-generation fighter jet program, while India is now focusing on indigenous 4.5-generation fighter jets like the Tejas Mark 1A and medium-weight fighter. The Indian Air Force have also denied any interest in purchasing the F-35 from the US, thus settling even the rarest of the possibility of F-35 joining the Indian Air Force. Experts have said that Russia is likely to play the Pakistan card if it fails to crack the MMRCA tender for 114 fighter jets and will push India on the purchase of the new export variant of Su-57 by the end of 2019. Pakistan cannot acquire a credible fifth-generation platform in the near future, due to their economic conditions, and if Pakistan goes with the Chinese fifth-generation fighter jet, they will not be able to tackle a fleet of Indian Su-30 and Rafale fighter jets. India has been invited by United Kingdom to join the proposed Tempest sixth-generation stealth fighter jet program, and France and Germany will also be eager to find more prospective investment partners to join the program, and investing in a sixth-generation fighter jet seems the best possible option for India, rather than the purchase of F-35 or Su-57 in a flyaway condition. The 60,000 crore rupees project to build 2,610 future infantry combat vehicles continues to be in the endless rounds of discussions since October 2016. The Ministry of Defence officials are believed to be uncomfortable over the 800 crore rupees bill for funding the prototype, and they have instead suggested that the shortlisted private sector companies should fund the building of two prototypes. The private firms have said that they can't fund the project or buy the technology because there is no guarantee that they will get an order. According to latest reports, the hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle program is being put back on track after the recently conducted first developmental test. The RDO is confident that a second test can be carried out within the next four months, in which the hypersonic vehicle will reach the desired altitude, and will also demonstrate its ability to fly at speeds of Mach 6. After the successful launch last month, the RDO is pushing the high-speed expendable aerial target to enter into production by 2020. The DRDO will conduct another test in the presence of service representatives, and after it is accepted by the armed forces, the next task will be to transfer the technology to an Indian industry. According to latest media reports, the Indian Army is going to raise three new battle formations along the borders with Pakistan by October 2019. The new battle formations will also come up on the China border, after they are successfully tested and established on the front with Pakistan. The Ministry of Defence has issued a blunt warning to private sector defence firms, that they must find customers overseas for their defence systems and equipment, rather than relying on the Indian government for orders. The Joint Secretary of Defence Industries Production has said that there is a limited capital budget of about 1 lakh crores, and there are certain committed liabilities, and the government cannot support every single private defence firm. He also appeared to be talking down on the possibility of any significant increase in the defence capital allocations in the budget next month.